The opening salvo in this war left Paris reeling. As ambulance crews raced to help the wounded, the picture became clear of a coordinated, multi-pronged attack by at least seven terrorists on six targets, including the Bataclan Concert Hall. Listen closely. What sounded like drums is actually gunfire. Then, chaos. There was a lot of panic. Everyone was thrown to the ground, this witness said. They'd shoot a little, everywhere, randomly. For an hour, as police got into position to storm the building, a French journalist filmed desperate music fans trying to escape. Some managed to get out a back door, dragging wounded and dying companions. We heard shots, this woman said. It was as if people were being tortured. Terrible. Carnage. Dead people everywhere. A few blocks away, gunmen had also opened fire on crowded restaurants and cafes. That's where 23-year-old Californian Noemi Gonzalez was fatally shot. The story in the city's main football stadium was of tragedy averted. Thousands of fans were kept inside after the game ended, safe from two suicide bombers who had planned to kill as many of them as possible. The French president, who'd been among the spectators, was hustled to safety. Later, Francois Hollande spoke to the country. Terrorists capable of carrying out such atrocities, he said, will be shown a France that will not be intimidated. In less than 24 hours, police working with forensic teams said they had identified all the terrorists. But they've only named one, a 29-year-old French citizen and petty criminal, on their radar as an Islamic radical. Last night, spontaneous memorials grew wherever the terrorists had struck. The country will now observe three days of national mourning for an attack ISIS claims to have staged. As the group itself said in a statement, our brothers aimed their weapons into the very heart of Paris. Less than a year ago, Islamic radicals killed journalists at the Charlie Hebdo magazine and customers in a Jewish deli. But as more than one Parisian has remarked, this time it's different. They didn't target a specific profession or group. They were gunning for everyone. And from around the world, support has poured in. International landmarks lit up with the colors of the French flag, solidarity in blue, white, and red. <laughs>